most awesome part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I'm sure that person that did it, that, that you must take note, all mm -hmm. those names that has been called, and at the end of our uh, meeting here today on this in the studio, uh, we will leave the uh, Prophet Key's name and number and contact details on, on at the end. And then, but before we're gonna close up here, mm -hmm. I just you know, uh, pa uh, Pastor Key, concerning your, your final encouraged words to the nations, you know, and also your, first your future plans. Sorry, you're mm -hmm. concerning your prophetic school mm -hmm. and uh, in from now 2010 and beyond as well, and then your final encouraging words to the nations out there, you know, because you, you know that you and God has definitely called you and and uh, your church you know to, to speak with a prophetic voice yes. you know to to the nations and as i said we are privileged to have you here today you can just uh, speak to me yeah um my sister uh, and viewers what is so important for me for this year is that um, that we will have more prophetic schools around us our country in durban we have opened already one in p in Durban, in Joburg, in different areas of our city, and, in, and even in our country. But my goal, it is not a long-term term goal, it is, it is now, I'm trusting God to open up a prophetic school in the UK. And God has given me a name, Sutherland. Wow. Because God is about to do something in Sutherland, in, Sutherland. Mm -hmm. in the UK. In the United Kingdom. Yes, in the United Kingdom. So, so I'm trusting God even to open up a prophetic school there. Wonderful. Yes, and further then, um, my goal is to raise up the leaders, mm. to raise up men and women of God Amen. in ministry, in the prophetic ministry, yes. being voices in the nations. Wonderful. Mm. Right, being voices in the nations, yeah. voices in parliament. Mm. Right, because God is also releasing the governmental authority and anointing. Mm. Right, because there's one thing that you need to know that prophets is king makers. Mm. Mm. Prophets is king makers. Mm. So, so, so I believe that we need to be a voice in parliament. Mm. Yes, that's Amen. Right. That's so, right. so yes, that is also a long time ago mm. that we, we will pursue that yeah. going into different nations mm. and Amen. even in South Africa yes. and being a voice to a nation. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. In our neighboring countries. In neighboring countries, <laughs> yes. we're going into Africa, mm. we're going That's into right. America, mm. yeah. they also need voices. That's right. Amen. That is yeah. so right, yeah. I mean, and uh, I just want to say there that you say that the nations need us. Jesus' great commission was going into the world and make disciples yes. of all nations. all nations. And that is what we're just doing for him here on earth. As, he, as, as God has called, as Holy Spirit has called myself and my husband, into this ministry, the, you know, he showed us clearly that to speak, you know, if we can't make it out there to the nations, is to speak to them, and this is a way then, the, uh, one of the, the ways that we, that God has showed us, the most, actually the most effective, one of the most effective ways is through radio or TV, and that is why we uh, started with this. I believe my husband wants to breathe out there just a little bit on, uh, okay. And even Pastor Greg, before we uh, close up here, yeah, have you got anything to say to the people out there, you know, that uh, you know, just encouraging words? Well, to give them a word of hope. Mm -hmm. I've been in situations that I don't know, sitting in church, yeah. and find out that I was blind, looking for something, mm -hmm. but now I found mm -hmm. something to live for. And I'm excited mm. because where God took me through, yes. it was a process. Mm. But now God is skipping all the processes in my life. So I just experience breakthroughs. Amen. And I want to tell you, there is hope Amen. for you too. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. I believe a city or a community without a prophetic voice mm. is in danger. You need someone who can identify what spirit mm. is keeping our people in bondage. That is a fact. So that I believe in, in this time, in this season, God is about to raise up people. Mm. Mm. Amen. And even...
people that will know how to attack the lack. Oh, <laughs> mm. I like that. Twenty because there lack. is lack among our people, mm. and God is to raise up people mm. to attack the lack. That's right. Mm. That's right. So those who are in bondage today, mm. there is hope. Amen. Yes. Amen. There is a breakthrough coming. Amen. Yes. God is about to release a breakthrough. Mm. Yes. And I know that many have heard about the word breakthrough, but no understanding. Mm. I just want to, 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 to clear that. Yes, and, and right. just, I like just it. Yes. Open it up to people. Mm. That a breakthrough yes. is a sudden burst mm. of advanced knowledge yes. that will take you past the point of defense. Mm. So as I speak breakthrough, I speak breakthrough to every household. Breakthrough to every community, mm. breakthrough to every city, mm. breakthrough to our nation, and breakthrough to the continent of Africa. Mm. I release that over us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. And thank you, Pastor Greg, as well. Mm. You know, for being with us today. It was most it was an awesome time. Mm. Awesome. You sit here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here, but I'm feeling there. I'm sitting on cloud nine. You know, this is, this, yes. is, this is how we spend time in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And it was wonderful for you, to, for you that tuned in today. And we're looking forward for a Pastor uh, Keith and Pastor Greg. You're definitely going to come back. You have to because we need, as you said now, this is a big lack in, in, you know, in many uh, countries in the African continent and even around the world, that people that doesn't want to hear the truthful prophetic voice. And this is what uh, Pastor Keith has uh, uh, talked on and what we have discussed here today. And thank you for tuning in uh, with us. Uh, first of all, thank you very much. It was a great pleasure. Thank you. Great.